What's up, everybody? And welcome back to the Two Chanku Podcast, episode 277. As always, we are your hosts, Xavier and Alton. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Join the Discord and pick up something for yourself in that Teespring merch store. All links are in the description boxes down below. Other than that, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Um, I want I want to just kick this episode off with... Thank you guys so much for re- getting us to 100 subscribes on YouTube, man. Like, <laughs> means a lot. I do this moment it was going to come. Man, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could take you seriously right now, but your face is frozen. <laughs> oh, okay. And let me just let me just send you a photo of the face you're making. <laughs> let me put it on camera real quick. Speaking of my face, guys, I know I look like a baby right now, but I had to shave. Apparently, I had lice, so... Wait, no, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Apparently, I had beard lice. Didn't even know that was a thing. It, no. Yo, man. Nah, I bought some this new, uh, like, beard balm stuff. Mm-hmm. But I was like, let me shave first and, like, get right. a new, like, regrowth in. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I know what you mean. So, I'm thinking about, thinking about growing something back. I just, I don't know what. Hey, man, you should grow the unibrow. Man, what? <laughs> I heard those are really in right now. Man, first off, I can't grow a unibrow. <laughs> Second off, if I could, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Talk about facial hair, man, not not eyebrow hair. <laughs> I don't know. I might, I might do the bulbo again. I don't know. I like the bulbo though. The stash, the patch, and then just. The jawline? I don't. See, the thing is, oh. it wouldn't look good on me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't, it wouldn't look good I on me. I got such a round face. <laughs> yeah, it would look like, man, what happened to your face, dog? <laughs> what do you mean? It would look like a, it goes up, you know, instead of out. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it looked like you, your chin is smiling, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why I was like, I'll just keep the mustache and goatee. Yeah. Or, like, I would go, like, full beard. But Have that's you ever too itchy. Full beard? Nah, man, it's too itchy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you full bearded up. It is. It. The, if you have never grown a beard, or if you're a lady, <laughs> <laughs> and you just. Well, hold on now. <laughs> you just can't grow a beard. I don't know. You know. There's about two weeks of just. Like. Scratching your face like a mad person because it it gets itchy, it gets itchy. Oh well, we'll see what happens. I guess you'll see. It, you might see some progression in the facial hair. It depends. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> depends on the mood, guys. Yeah, it depends on the mood because that's the other thing. I'm like a facial hair one week, no facial hair next week kind of guy. So I feel that every time I'm gonna shave, we'll I'm see. like, why did I shave? But like a straight baby. Yeah. Every, yeah, I feel the same way and then and then when I start wondering like should I grow something out? I'm like, nah, it's, I'm just going to shave, you know. <laughs> it's it's a lot of emotions if you don't know. <laughs> it is. But uh that's that's not what we're here to talk about today, even but though yeah. it's pretty important, but Yeah. Seriously though, uh we reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, guys. Um so Keep it going. If you're not subscribed, go check out our YouTube. Go Got subscribe. a bunch of videos out there. Um, yeah, just 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 do it. Bunch Send it to your videos. friends, family, mm-hmm. you know, coworkers, enemies, yep. like everybody. Oh yeah. yeah, send it to the enemies. Just FYI, you're probably not. Well, you're gonna get some unboxing videos from me this week, but probably not more than that. I have a, a busy schedule this week with a lot of. Perfect. That means I can Emotional post my video. Emotional distress. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you got a video, definitely post it. Oh, I got a video. All right. <laughs> oh, Look, no. how to make meth 101. Man, you can't. <laughs> but I finally figured it out. <laughs> now, so, what do we, we came back to do part two of the summer 2022 mid-season review. Part two. 
mid-season review, and we're finally, I guess we're we're kind of caught up. We're kind of caught up. Yeah, I mean, I'm caught up on everything I'm watching. Well, technically not all the way caught up. I, I haven't watched episode six of uh, Ren and Girlfriend yet. Fair enough. Or Call of the Night. I stopped at those ones just because I was, uh, Having I think I watched some. all of your stuff. Yeah. Well, not yeah. that. I've just... I was, I think I was watching them Friday or something, and I fell asleep. So, oh, <laughs> okay. And then I forgot to watch them yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, uh, yeah. So, there's some that I haven't like caught up on, but they're not mid season yet. There's, you know, um, Futo Pi, which is it's only on episode four. So, then, um, is it wrong to pick up <laughs> girls in a labyrinth? Um, only on episode three, but there's five out. Then a couple of cuckoos. I'm just gonna leave that to the end end, and then that's what I'm thinking. Just too, review it at the end end. I'm I, I haven't I haven't watched any since last season to be honest. Yeah. Um And I I'm uh, I probably just wait till it finishes and then mm-hmm. binge it all. Same thing mm-hmm. with um. Ayoashi and uh, Summertime Rendering. Now, Summertime right. Rendering, I know for a fact I'm going to finish because I've been seeing people talk about it. It's finally. crazy. And, yeah, it gets wild. Um, but <laughs> people are like, yeah, like, if you catch up now. because." But I was like, no, nah, I'm going to just wait till it's done and I'm going to yeah. binge the rest. Because I can't I can't do that, catch up, yeah. and then got to wait. Yeah. Usually what I do is I wait until, like, second to last episode, you know? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So it's like episode eight, and I'll be like, all right, now it's time. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's catch time. Up. <laughs> but so there's that, and uh, other than that, I guess uh, I guess we'll just get into it. You only have two, you said? Yeah, I'm only watching, because I'm watching a total of four. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I talked about two last week, and then we'll talk about two like this I week. I had more. I guess I, I dropped some, and I don't even remember that I dropped them <laughs> or what they were. Yeah, I ain't watching that. Yeah, I mean, we I talked we talked about Engage Kiss, mm-hmm. Ligorous Recoil. Um, I talked about Overlord, right? Yeah. And then I talked about the Harem Labyrinth, I think, right? I think that's what I. I think about. so. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, so I got Rent a Girlfriend, Black Summoner, Parallel World Pharmacy, and I guess I could talk about Futo Pi, or I guess I could talk about either of them. They're not halfway yet, but it is what it is. And then, in all honesty, so huh? So I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Oh, okay. Then, in all honesty, I haven't caught up on my stepmom's daughter is my ex or shine post but in my defense those are the two most susceptible to droppage so if by the end of the season i'm talking about them you know they survived if i forget that i even watched them you know what happened <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so you know that is what it is with those two but most likely at least for Shine Post, most likely that's going to be a drop. But all right. Um, so the only one that we have in common this time, right now, is Rent a Girlfriend, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. All right. Let me start with uh, Dan Machi. Fourth season. That's the oh, Pick labyrinth the girl and labyrinth thing. Which, I don't even know why it's titled that, because, like, it, it, it's not a thing that happens, you know? It's not even a harem thing. Like, it's not, I don't know. It's, I guess they wanted it to stand out or something. Either way, I'm liking the season so far. Again, I'm only on episode three, but there's only five out. There's still a question mark by how many episodes it's going to be, so... I think last season was 13, so I doubt this one's going to be any more than that. But it's a good season. I like it. I don't know if I like it as well. No, I probably I probably like it a little more than last season 
because last season was a little confusing. Right. And, and so far this season, A, it's not as confusing, and B, it has more action. So. I mean, more action is always the way to go. Yeah, those are two. those are two good things. Especially because, you know, this isn't, it's not like a, it's not like a budget anime, you know? Right, right. So the action's usually pretty good. The animation's real good. The fights are real cool. The powers are cool. And I re- I actually really like the power scaling in it, which is something that is, for some reason, it seems like impossible to do in most anime. Mm-hmm. But, the, but the power scaling, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm Power there. scaling is always something that's hard. Mm-hmm. It's always something that's hard. Uh, Futo Pi. I guess I'm halfway through the episodes because there's only, there's only four. But <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. I'm I'm actually really liking it. The animation's really good. Surprisingly, which one is that again? Futo Pi. It is about the. Um, it's about a detective and he gets, someone comes to him with a case about a witch and he's like, oh, okay, right, right. Let me go investigate it. And at the same time, he's, he's got like Sentai powers so he can turn that's into right. like a Power Ranger. So what I like though, is that that's not like, it's not like a gimmick that they use. So you only saw it in a flashback in episode one, and then at the end of episode, is either episode two or episode three, he went into the Sentai mode. But okay. she, she is, she does have like actual powers. She might actually be a witch. <laughs> so, but I'm enjoying it. I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's interesting. It's definitely. It's definitely the first of its kind that, like, I have seen because, like, he turns into a, a sentai or super sentai. Mm-hmm. And, but there are other people who transform into monsters, but it's not that they, like, transform into monsters, like, that he isn't a monster when he turns into a sentai. He is right. basically a monster when he turns into a sentai. But they're not like it it's not like uh he has a transformer kind of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have a morpher. He kind of has a morpher, but I think it's mostly to like preserve his life because how you transform is it's like these I guess the best way to describe it, it's like a sim card kind of. And like you imp- you I guess you kind of implant it in you. So it basically, like, hijacks and turns your body into, like, you know, a Whatever. super performing yeah. thingamajig versus, like, you just turn into a monster. It's literally, like, I don't know, you're kind of like an android, but you're not, you know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So he uses, like, a morpher, and he combines with his his partner, his detective partner. And they turn into the one, like, Sentai guy. Mm -hmm. But I think they use a thing because I think if you just go, like, straight in with it, that's what kind of turns you into a monster. And it Mm -hmm. it makes it so, like, you can't control yourself. So, like, the first guy that they fought, he, I mean, lack of a better term, he was a cannibal. (laughs) Like... Like, by using the thing, oh, okay, man. it made him a cannibal. You know what I mean? Like, but it also, when he was a monster, he had the power to basically, like, kind of create, like, a sub-reality. But he needed to eat people for the energy to be able to do it, because it was, like, made out of, like, I don't know, DNA or something. I, I didn't fair. understand that part, but... I think it's interesting. I think I think you would enjoy it. I honestly do. Because it's something that I don't think we've really seen before. I might have to check it out then. And the animation's real good, so. Might have to check it out. Yeah. Because I'm definitely probably gonna be dropping one. So well, And the MC's not annoying, so that's always that's always cool. It's always cool. So 
think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. All right, let me do. Uh, I'll do one more, and then you do your one Tell that's not right a girlfriend. Okay, cool. Um, let me do parallel world pharmacy. Honestly, I thought I was gonna drop it. I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, not that it was like, not that it was bad. I just thought it was gonna be real generic, you know, mm-hmm. a real kind of generic isekai. But you have all the knowledge of your previous life, kind of thing. And it's not that it's not that. It just goes about it in a more interesting way. And when I was watching it, the best way that I could describe it is it would be like cells at work but medical Mm. right so like where cells at work would yeah there was all this stuff going on but they were like accurately telling you what's going on what the cell is what the bacteria or the virus or whatever is right right that's this does it the same like that except from the medical side as in like all right they have uh what was this person dying of oh man i can't remember oh they have tuberculosis right this rough stuff real rough stuff (laughs) especially back in you know you're living in castles and stuff right (laughs) that was kind of it for you if you had tuberculosis Right, so it's like, okay, they have tuberculosis. All right. He was like, what do you need to treat tuberculosis? I need this, that, and the other kind of thing. Mix it together. This is how long you take it kind of thing. And, you know, the isekai stuff comes in where, like, he has... I can't remember what it's called, but he can basically, like, create elements. But he needs to know the chemical compound of the substance to be able to make it Mm. so he'll like draw out you know the chemical i guess the formula kind of looking thing where it's like all right a hydrogen and an oxygen and uh he'll draw it out so that he has the image in his head and then he can create the thing to make the medicine so it's not bad it's not bad if you were a fan at cells at work you might be a fan of this it has a little more, you know, story to it. Right. But when it talks about, like, the medicine and stuff, it feels like a medical cells at work, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought I was going to drop it, but, you know, it's not that bad. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. It was a good surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what'd you watch? Um, outside of Ren, Ren a Girlfriend, I watched Call of the Night. Um, if you guys don't remember that one, that's the uh, one about the uh, the kid basically trying to fall in love with a girl yeah. um, who's a vampire, so he can become a vampire. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, it's not bad. It's definitely no. not bad. The animation is pretty good. Um, mm-hmm. It's just boring to me like fair enough like i like like i figured that it was going to be one of those um uh what's it called those anime that like you know it just like like kind of like adventure after adventure um oh. well I, mm-hmm. actually i won't even say it's boring because it's not necessarily boring um it's like it's just, super slice of life yeah yeah it's like super slice of life so it's like it's not mm-hmm. it's not necessarily boring but it it, it it reminds me of back when i was watching um super cubs that's uh, what i thought you were gonna say yeah um so where it's like it's it's not it wasn't boring super cubs wasn't boring but it was just like very slow mm-hmm. and like you know it, it's sort of like a slow burn like you know like mm-hmm. i could feel like okay like they're of course gonna fall in love you know what i'm saying but like though though route that they're taking to get there it's just like i really don't care so it's a long one (laughs) so i'm like i might drop it um i'll see i'll watch episode six and see how i feel Mm -hmm. um because it's like and on top of that it's like okay i got my romance for this season and rent a girlfriend so it's like right why do i need a super slice life one yeah so 
So it might be getting dropped, guys. Uh, if Fair you guys enough. don't hear me talk about it in the mid season or the end of season review, most likely it got dropped. <laughs> it's because it died. It got killed. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, when I saw that it was going to get an anime, that surprised me. That was very surprising to me. Not because it's bad, just because it is. It's like a super slice of life. Mm-hmm. Sure, there's a vampire, and when when you get later into it, I'm not going to say there's, like, action, but there are some fights that happen. But even still, it's like... It's, it's a super slice of life. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm thirsty. Yeah. They look for a vending machine to get something to drink. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, like they went to a bathhouse, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's not, like, it's not it's bad just, though. Yeah, it's not bad. Like if you if you if you looking for that, you know, mm-hmm. it, like I think and I think what it is is that like I think I could have like watched the entire thing mm-hmm. if it was like during a season where there was a lot of like action or or right. you know, bangers that I was watching that was just like if it came out last season, I think I would have continued to watch it. Um, so and play be a stuff nice, like slow yeah, down kind of exactly thing. you know mm-hmm. so um, but See because that. it's like okay I'm watching Ren- Ren- a Girlfriend which is essentially a slice of life uh, romance comedy mm-hmm. I guess a um, mm-hmm. romance drama uh, I'm watching that and then I mean yeah I have engaged Kiss and uh, uh, gosh what's the other one Licorice uh, li- yeah Licorice Rico which engaged Kiss must be getting dropped too because that one I'm just like bro what is happening uh, but we'll see. Did you make it to... Uh... Oh, episode eight's out. I guess because I watched episode seven. I like Engage Kiss. It it doesn't seem like it's going to end happy. That's for sure. But Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. It doesn't... It It's getting to a point where it doesn't feel like it's going to have a happy ending. And if it does, it's going to be kind of like, ugh. Okay. You know? That's fair. But man... Have you seen? Did you watch up to episode six of A Gage Kiss? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So was it episode six or seven that she sleeps up in, and then she erased his memory so he couldn't remember? She was like, "That's exactly like what I seven. wanted you to do." <laughs> oh, and, okay. Yeah, it's okay. So this is one of the reasons that I like it because I understand her logic behind it. Because she's like, I'm going to do this thing because it's going to piss her off. But also, I want to do it. But I know she's going to erase his memory of it so that he won't. she won't erase any more of his previous memories. Mm. You know? So I'm like, that's, uh, that's okay. Smart. That's slick. That's, that's slick. <laughs> you know? And even even she was just like, ah, you get, you, get, you got me. You got me. Hey, you, 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 you got me. You guys. She was like, "Listen, dog, you, you got me on that one." Because she was like, "Oh, you didn't want him to remember my scent," and I was like, "Oh, oh my god, <laughs> man!" So I'm gonna keep watching it. I like Engage Kiss. You know, the guy's coming, becoming a little slower since you know he's losing a lot of memories, but. I don't think it's going to end happy, though. I really don't. I hope it doesn't, honestly, because it would fit to okay, me. Okay, man. But or maybe you're just we'll broken. See. Aren't we all? No. Oh, okay. All right, so Black Summoner. And this is another one that I thought I was going to drop, but I didn't. And... Why didn't I drop it? There's some reason. <laughs> so this is the one where the guy gets isekai'd, but he sells all of his memories for power. Right. And he's a summoner, so he can he can't like summon things. You gotta you gotta go out and tame something to be able to summon it. So actually, you know, I know exactly why I didn't drop it. It's because I think it was episode two or three he gets his other his other summon which is this like this knight 
I can't remember what, what he's called. But he's some kind of knight because he's you know he's a monster guy called Gerard, and I was like, eh, I might drop it, but the fight was like, okay, okay, I guess I'll keep watching because <laughs> the fight was not bad. I was. <laughs> I was, I was quite happy with the fight, so I was like, okay, all right, you got me, you got me. You earned, you know, you earned another episode, you earned another episode. And then he fought, like, some other demon guy, and I was like, okay. Okay, we're going places. And then uh, they're not they're not shying away from from fighting, because mm-hmm. they, made, they made the guy a battle junkie, so he loves to fight. <laughs> And he loves to fight, you know, super strong people, so. Sounds like me. Oh, okay. So it's not bad. I mean, as f- this one, uh, I would say it is, man, it fits the mold of generic isekai, though. Like, spot on, you know? Mm-hmm. The only difference is he is a summoner instead of a major swordsman or something so but he does use magic so Mm -hmm. you know if you're a fan of just generic kind of fantasies because i can't even i can't even call it an isekai when you have absolutely no memories of your previous life at that point (laughs) it's it's just a fantasy where they didn't show us your childhood (laughs) oh okay (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. like so We'll see how it is. We'll see how it goes. It, I, I imagine it's a one season kind of thing. It's probably based on a manga. Right. right. Not sure, but if you want, oh, I guess it's novels. If you want, basically a basic, basic kind of, kind of East guy. Well, there it is. I think it's at least finished, though. I think the series is finished. It's not bad though. The last episode, he beat up uh, some. I don't know some some gang, some like slave trading gang, just because he wanted the heroes to think he he showed up, beat up the bad guys first, so that the heroes would show up, think that the beat up bad guys are <laughs> are the good guys, so that the heroes would fight him just because he wants to fight strong enemies. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's insane, is what you're saying. He is a he is just like you, like you said. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool. So, no, it was pretty good. It's it's fine. I mean, it's solid, you know, three, but it is what it is. All right, Rent a Girlfriend. Thoughts? It's getting dropped. Oh, well. no, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> dude, it's it's good. Like I, I'm still flabbergasted at why people hate on this anime I, um i don't know what it is and you know epi- I, I forgot i think it was episode three or four but we got solid proof that kazuya it's not a simp bro because he had a girl in his bed willing to sleep with him mm-hmm. and my man said no like a simp. now <laughs> <laughs> what he ain't no sigma or alpha male <laughs> no, no but listen bro it, if people want to call that simp behavior, I don't know. Like, I don't, because I don't he has know, feelings man. for another girl. Yeah, he and did he the right turned thing. down. Yeah, he did the right. Like, what? What are you guys talking about? All you people who watch anime would do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. Well, maybe not, but like, nah, I love Ruka. I, that's I'd, not. I do with Ruka. No, nah, I, I mean, sue me all day, but fair enough. Fair enough. Jazuda's just not interested enough. It, you know what I'm saying? If it was me, if it was me, this is a prime example of how <laughs> how, how different tastes we have. Yeah, because <laughs> you I want, want Ruka. Ruka, who's a hundred percent all about you. 100%, I want Sumi because she's just cute, adorable, she's just shy. Yeah, she's, she's just like <laughs> she, she she's adorable, and you just want to like hold her and be like, it's okay. It's like I don't feel bad. It's okay. <laughs> all right, but yeah. But no, like um, yeah, I don't but get yeah, it I, don't I don't, know. I don't get how don't get how it. that con- you're considered a simp because you have feelings for a girl and you're 
you're you you just want to be with her, but he knows yeah, that I don't, she 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 most likely don't feel the same. I and I feel like that's why people look at him as a simp because he's doing all his stuff to support her dreams and stuff like that. But, but she it's does like feel the same. I feel she, like I mean she, she does obviously, but there's there's been enough. Even in the anime, there's been enough hints at least to be like maybe she's not like ooh Kazuya, but she's like. I mean, I wouldn't mind being with him, but she's so just focused on on, a, on getting on her back and her goal. Yeah, she's just that, I mean, she's focused on getting that back. So it's uh, like, but like, like episode, and that's why I loved episode two so much because it showed that like uh, a side to um, Chizuru that we we hadn't seen. You know, when mm-hmm. his gra- when her grandmother was explaining to him that how like she was a needy kid, you know, like mm-hmm. clingy and all of this stuff, like a uh, very dramatic. So, mm. um, so it, it's, it's, it was really cool to see that because it's like, okay, now Kaiju, Kaiju knows, uh, that she, she, how she truly is. Yeah. yeah. He can understand. So I don't know, man. I, I don't understand like how I people don't. think he's a simp. Like if you want to say he's very, uh, I really don't get the hate. I really I, don't. Like I, I, I just, I can't consider him a simp because it's like, he's not. Like okay yeah maybe renting her every week is a little much, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It's a little much, especially but on like, the wallet. <laughs> I also don't feel like he's putting, cause like when when you say simp, I I think like okay putting this her dude life is before yours kind of thing. That but also like you're just putting this 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 woman on a pedestal who you okay. know you're never gonna be with. Right right right. Whereas with this, he has a chance to be with her. Is he? Yeah, he, he's he just gonna be. With he her. just doesn't think that she's into him. Mm-hmm. So and I feel like he's he's accepted that like okay like I I love her and like I would love to be with her, but I know this is gonna be platonic. So I just want to do the the best to support her in this platonic right. friendship. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like, yeah, the, it, people might call you a simp because it's like, oh, why are you doing that to, for her and she's not even dating? But it's like, well, I mean, bro, love other, make you do stupid stuff. And the other thing is that he, it's not like he's been friend zoned. Like, he hasn't yeah. been. She's just not, it's not that she's not interested in him. She's just not interested in a relationship in general. Mm-hmm. Like, she is so dead set on achieving her goal. Like she, she doesn't. I don't. I mean, she doesn't want to have waste know, the man. time on it. I just, I, guess. I can't agree to say that he's a simp. Like, is he, is he a little bit much at times? Yeah, is he a little bit yeah, clingy? Of yeah, like he's you know also what I'm saying? an anime character. Yeah, it's also but a like, comedy. Like, <laughs> but like I can't say that he's a simp because he he doesn't put her on this pedestal in terms of like worshiping her, right? Knowing that he'll never be with her. Right. And that's what I think a simp is. It's like, okay, right. you got clear signs that you're never going to be with this girl, yet you still treat her like a girlfriend or symphony right. other or uh, someone above you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No. That's a simp where you're like going above and beyond for this girl who doesn't doesn't show you two seconds of attention. You know what I'm right. saying? Whereas this is completely different. You know what I'm saying? Like – even outside of the whole yeah. rental process, like mm-hmm. she still she still acknowledges him. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't yes. treat him like dirt no. when he, you know what I'm saying when no. he when they're not on a date. And she you clearly relies on him too. Like mm-hmm. that's why I mean it's shown enough of the blushing, of the the looks, the when he's turned the his jealousy. back kind of thing that she is. She has a crush on him. He's ready to go, but she just has an interest kind of crush, you know? And she's just, again, she's just focused on her. And I just, I don't understand the hate. I don't understand the hate. I don't, I don't understand it either, man. I'll never I understand it. it. I don't get it. I, I don't think. I'm rocking with this season, though. Except for when yeah. Mommy John showed up. Oh, punch well, her in the face. Bro, Mommy is, she's the devil. She, I hate her. <laughs> I I can't even tell you like I can't even tell you anime characters that I've hated, but I hate I hate her. <laughs> like, I hate her. Hey, uh, first time for everything. Yeah, like I've never. I don't think I've ever cared enough to really like hate a anime character, but nope, she does it. She <laughs> she does it 
kudos to the writer because my gosh, like <laughs> I just spies her. Like I don't think Nisekoi even got that kind of thing. no. Nisekoi has a four point seven five out of five, and to me, it's basically the same show without the renting aspect. So I don't get it. I don't know, man. I guess people just don't like Kaizuyu. But I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't necessarily like love him as an MC, but I also no. don't really care. Like he's like he's not the point of the show. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> he, like he like he he's not bad to me either. No, he's not like great, but he's not bad. He's just like an okay MC. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I I I I can see. I wouldn't even say. Well, yeah, I guess I can say I relate to him in a sense in terms of like. You know, he just wants to. He just wants to find love, bro. Like yeah. that's all anybody wants. Like and you know, he what fell I'm in love. He fell yeah. in love. Uh, like... Yeah, I mean, he fell in love with it, bro. You can't tell me that people at least once in their life have fell in love with somebody that they just like, like you just met. You know what I'm saying? First meeting, yeah. it was just like. I mean, that's love at first sight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it's like you're truly in love with this person or you're just in love with. I guess the idea of being in love with them, yeah, it, you know, like everyone has had that moment in life where you're just like, oh my gosh, like this person mm-hmm. is perfect, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And everything they, you know, and everything they do, they're perfect. Mm-hmm. So, and if you on haven't, that, I feel like, sorry for you. On top of that, it would be hard for him to just kind of get over it when she's literally the neighbor. Yeah, on t- but on top of that, they're neighbors. They go to the same college. You know what I'm saying? Exactly they're college. always running into each other. So it's yeah. like, even if you wanted to get over, and they do get along, it's not. Yeah, it's not like, yeah. and that's it's not, not like they it's not don't. Like, again, like I said, it's not like she treats him like dirt, and he's yeah. still in love with her. No, no. Like they get along good. Like they you know what I'm saying? Along, like yeah. they uh, like. And that's why I said. I, I feel like he has accepted that, like, even if he can't be with her, like, when he was talking to her, that, like, that conversation I got, what I got from that conversation he had with her grandmother is that, like, regardless of the fact if they're dating or not, he's not going to let her give up on her dreams um, because, it, again, they have this, plat- he has this platonic love, like, yeah, it's more than platonic love for him, but I think he's yeah. accepted that, like, that's all it's ever going to be. You know what I'm saying? In terms, or he he's not expecting mm-hmm. it to grow more out of that, and he's okay with that. Um, right. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I don't know why people mm-hmm. hate. Him. Oh, know. okay, man. Your video what? just went out. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. And they just—I mean, it just constantly gets review bombed and stuff. It's. I don't know. I'm gonna keep enjoying <sighs> it. So. It. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Now mm-hmm. you know he he's a little retarded at times, but you know, <laughs> is what it is. Oh, okay, is what it is. I like it. I'm gonna keep watching it. When this season's over, I'm gonna go back to reading it. Like you know, if you don't. I guess you don't. I don't know why you don't. Let us know why you don't. Other than like it's trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a real like description of why you don't like it. Yeah, give me a real reasoning. Versus like it's just it's just trash, bro. If you if you just well, tell he's a me, simp. yeah. If you tell me you don't like his whininess, his I don't know, his getting aroused at you know every little thing or i'd be like okay those are reasons you know but if you just say it's trash it's kind of like i mean all right (laughs) either way that's part two next time we'll see you we'll be in the finales where we review everything give everything a out of five star review I mean, so far. I don't, I don't think know. that's the next time we're gonna see them. No, next next time we see them we... for for stuff about no, this. No, Tutaku. Yeah, no, not no. for Tutaku. Yeah, not for Tutaku. Wait, man, we going on vacation? Like, uh, we got like <laughs> we got like three, four more weeks. Yeah, we got before uh, the season's over. Not like five weeks, man. What is this? Three? Yeah, I got five weeks. So next time we talk about anime. 
it'll be in the it'll be in the finales where we review what we like, mm-hmm. rate it out of five. Honestly, I don't know. Probably only like Overlord, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes at the end. Okay. So, like us on Facebook. Keep subscribing to the YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Join the Discord. And don't forget to pick up something from for yourself from that Teespring merch store. All links are in the description box down below. Other than that, we see all of you in the next episode of Tutaku. Until next time, guys. <laughs>